When developing electronic product solutions, what should we pay attention to when selecting an MCU? The MCU is responsible for control and computation. It's the core part of the entire project, so its selection is extremely important. We need to pay attention to the following points. First, consider the built-in resources. Can its main frequency meet the requirements of our project? Second, is its memory space sufficient? For example, if my program code is 100K, then you cannot choose 64K, you need to select 128K or larger. As for its temperature rating, if it's going to be used in industrial applications, we should try to choose one with a higher temperature rating. It should have better stability. In addition to ensuring operating speed, it also needs to guarantee anti-interference capability. Next, we need to pay attention to its encryption and security. So, if we have a project, if we finish the project but its encryption is insufficient, it will be very vulnerable. The third point is scalability. When the internal resources are used up, can we add external memory? The fourth point is its price and cost, as well as whether it can be supplied stably. We should try to avoid choosing niche chips because once they are discontinued, it will be very difficult for our project to continue being used. The fifth point is whether its communication capability and speed are sufficient and whether its I.O. is adequate. The sixth point is its power consumption. If it uses dry batteries, we need to choose low power chips. The seventh point is its development environment and tools, as well as whether the manufacturer provides technical support. The eighth point is, as long as there is enough space for packaging on the PCB, we should try to make our selection accordingly. When it comes to packaging, avoid choosing QFN or BGA packages because the maintenance and repair costs will be relatively high later on.